had known what washed the teeth would come, he would not have he would have washed and would not have suffered his house. Verse 43, his house to be what? Broken up. Therefore be ye also ready for in in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. So we see that the, the only way to experience this day that we are in is to what? To be watchful. No, to be watchful. Uh, there's a phrase we sang, um, we, we spoke about it today. Let me just bring it in. Psalm, Psalm 50 verse 5. So we say in the time of the parousia, the time of the presence of the Lord, there is a massive gathering. The people that are gathered are the people that are made a covenant with him by sacrifice. Not everybody is gathered. Amen? Amen. People that have determined that, uh -uh, this pastor will not be my pastor. And this guy is, not, is the shepherd. The Lord shall be my shepherd. Yes. And everybody that have determined that, that will not associate ourselves with this this wickedness. He said, gather my sins together unto me. So the, one of the characteristics of uh, the, the presence of the Lord is that there's a massive gathering. And we see that in chapter 24, verse 45, it, it was separating, separating. So they now, it was now a, a virgin, verse 1 of uh, chapter 25. It said, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to ten virgins. There's a massive gathering unto him. Because he wants to process them so that when there is the judgment upon the earth, they are kept, they are preserved, they are inside the ark, they are inside Christ, they are covered. So it, that process of time is called when it comes as a thief in the night. Comes as a thief in the night. Uh -huh. But it now progresses to a point where it can appear to them. Uh, Matthew chapter 25. It said they, 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 he appeared unto them. And uh, for the marriage, he said, Behold the bridegroom, go ye out to meet him. So it comes to that extent where he epiphany himself to us, he unveiled himself to us. So if you like, you can say the first part of Matthew 24 that we read is um, parousia, presence of God, but the epiphany takes place in chapter 25 where he sees us face to face. Amen? Amen. Okay. It is after he has seen us face to face that the world will now see him. Now he goes with the clouds. The first time he comes in his majesty. But the second one, he said, he comes with clouds. Amen. 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 So now Amen. he comes with clouds, and all eyes shall see him. All eyes shall see him. So it progresses. Uh, but before that time, his sole responsibility is to take out a people for his name. Amen. He wants a church without spot, without wrinkle. Yes. Remember the phrase in verse ten, at, uh, verse Matthew chapter twenty-five, verse ten. He said, why they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went with him. See the word ready there? He said the, the, the woman was clothed with fine linen, for he has made herself ready. Amen? Amen? Amen. So we see a class of people there that are in union with him. Amen? Amen. Okay. Uh, I think I'm slow enough. I think I'm slow enough. But, but let's, let's rephrase what we are saying. We are saying that Christ comes in his majesty as a thief in the night. He comes where everybody cannot see him. The only people that can see him are the people watching. Okay? That are looking for him. They are, they are yearning for him. And what we're told there is that they are not only watching, they are keeping their garments. Yes. They are saying, God, deliver me. Uh -uh. I just prayed today and I see this spot, this spot, this spot. Uh -uh. I was too hard on this person. I was too hard on this person. I didn't speak. This character, this, it, deal with it. Uh -huh. As those for yen hunger, he what? He revealed himself to them. Amen. And the main goal is that he give them meat in due season. Yes. And after that, it pro they progresses to have all his goods. He made them ruler over all his goods. 
Uh, then that's still not enough. They keep on being with him, being, and they are now virgins. Virgins. Virgins, they progress, and, and they are waiting, 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 looking for him because they know it's going to appear. He said, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lambs and went for to meet. The aim is to meet, to be one with him. Amen? Amen. Uh -huh. So it's a serious marriage we are talking about here. A serious to be married with him. But that takes place, the crown is given at what? At that day. Not only to me, but unto them that love is epiphany. It's appearing. It's appearing. Uh, so that's the period. So 25 specifically talk about the unveiling of Christ when he sees us face to face. Uh -huh. When we are changed. But to get to that level, we have to be prepared. Uh, he comes as a thief in the night to prepare us. Um, John chapter 14. Verse 3. But we we'll have to read the first verses. So when we say he comes in his parousia, he comes. Uh, how will he come? How will he come? Will he come as a human being? How will he come? He comes in his word. Ah, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now, he's here in his word. He's here in his spirit. So the times of refreshing, the times of refreshing are all the times he comes what? In his word and his spirit. But in the time of his parousia, he comes as a, it's in his person, which is different. He must come as his person. If he don't come at his pressing, the woman cannot be, cannot be, he said he has come to make his church ready. He comes to purify them, to sit as a refiner's fire, as a fuller's room, to bring them to that extent of life. It's beyond the word. It's beyond the spirit. He comes in himself. So, in this verse, he said, let's read from one, two, three. Uh, my main body is in verse three. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If we are not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Amen? Amen. Christ has gone to prepare what? A place for us. A place for me, a place for you. Yes. Amen? Amen? So verse 3 tells us something. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, ye shall be also. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Where is it taking me to? Himself. Amen? Himself. That's the place he has prepared. Hallelujah! Amen? Amen. Yeah, he's not talking about coming in his word. He's not talking about baptism of the Holy Spirit. He's talking about him coming a second time. Amen? Amen? I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again. So the parousia is talking about Christ coming again. Not in his word. The word has been there. I will be with you always. Just can't he just disappear. No, no. He's always with us. All the way. But here he's talking about he's coming a second time. Definite. I will come again. I will come again. And what? I will receive you unto myself. Then wherever Christ is, we are. Yes. Then the sound said, and where I am, ha, ye may be also. Amen. 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 So that's the aim. He's coming a second time, what? To receive us unto himself. Hallelujah. That means things, character, failure, must be dealt with. Amen. So it, it comes as a thief in the night to process us, to process us, to bring us to this estate of life. There ye will be also. I will receive you to myself. In fact, the world. <laughs> The word in the original that says myself. It says, I receive you unto I. Amen. Me. The original says, I, me, myself. It's his person. Yes. 
his person. That's why we say, uh, until he comes, whose right it is, and I will give it him. He's the person of the head and body. Amen. 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 I'll go and prepare a place. Amen. So we see that it is it's not just in his word, but also in his spirit. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew 28 tells us that he's always there. 28 to 20. So the, the second coming is, is definite. There's something he said, uh, and that scripture tells us in Acts is that it, to, the restitution of all things. He said the heavens must retain him, must until the time. Amen? Amen. Verse 20 tells us, I quoted, it said, teaching them to do observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you all the way. All the way, every time, I am with you, even to the end of the world. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So it's talking about something different. Uh, let's go to that uh, John again. We'll see another aspect of the... John chapter 14, please. Um, okay, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father. Mm. And he shall give you another comforter. That he may abide with you forever. Verse 17. The spirit of truth. The, uh, the, the evil there is italics. He's still talking about the comforter. The spirit of truth, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Because he seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him. Hallelujah. For he dwelleth with, with you. That's one. Then he, and shall be in you. As at the time he was talking, they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so it wasn't in them yet. If, it was, if, if I was to rephrase it now, I would say, who is with you and in you? Because then, they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. He said, the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Because Jesus Christ was not yet crucified. So it was in, the, in Pentecost, in uh, Acts of Apostles, that he received the Holy Ghost. So that's why he said that, for you know him, for he dwelleth with you. So throughout the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit was dwelling with them. He dwelt with John the Baptist. He dwelt with all of them, but he wasn't in them. But he said, and shall, 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 in the future. But as at now speaking, it's not shall, it's you. It's in you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Which shall be in you. Then he said in verse 13, I will not leave you comfortless. Hallelujah. I will come to you. So this one is talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit. So there's the word. I will be with you always. Okay? There's the Holy Spirit. But the, the parents are talking about the presence of him. I will come again to you. Very different. Very, very different. So, uh, if you tell some people, they say the presence of hey, He's always with me. Uh -huh, I know that. It's always in his word, in his spirit, fine. But this power is, is, is coming in his presence. Hmm. Beyond anything the world has seen. Romans chapter 6. Verse 9. Because uh, people think Christ will just appear. Appear, appear. In fact, if Jesus can appear now, people in Australia will not see him. Yes, they are sleeping. Ah. Romans chapter 6. Even if he appear here, the branching people will not see him. Ah. It's not the earth. <laughs> this, body, this body is very limited. Uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 9. Know that Christ being raised from the dead 
died no more. Died no more. Death had no more dominion over him. If Jesus Christ was to come again as a physical human body, he died. That means he died. By taking on a physical body, it means you are subject to death. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. The physical body is subject to death. So when he left his glory and came down, he was already dying. Uh, Philippians chapter 3. Let this mind be in you. So we see here, he died no more. Question. No. Yes. Yes. I have a question. So, you, so um, when that passage that says, this same Jesus. Yes. So what does that refer to if it's not the physical body? Because you've just said now that... This same Jesus? Yes. Okay, that same Jesus. That same Jesus. Yeah. That, 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 that same Jesus. Body. Which body was he carrying around? Glory. Hallelujah! Yeah. I don't, when I was studying, I was remembering you. <laughs> so she asked that question that last time. But you need some scripture. Jesus Christ died no more. Yeah. Know that Christ being raised from the dead died no more. Why did uh, Moses lose out in the promised land? He struck, he struck that, that rock twice. Christ cannot come back in a physical body. It's impossible. The reason why he came as a physical body is in the scripture for a purpose. Not that, no more after the flesh. No more after the flesh. Died no more. And death had no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin. Why did Jesus Christ, amen. Why did Jesus Christ come as a human being? Because of sin. Is he coming again because of sin? No. He cannot come as a human body. Hallelujah. Never. Amen, amen, amen. Cannot come as a human body. Hallelujah. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in he that he that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 16. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 16 I think. Five verse sixteen. Mm, that brother was quoting it. Uh, let's read together. F- verse sixteen. Where? For henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Amen. Amen. That's why I asked the question the last time. If there was to show you the picture of Jesus Christ, we know it's Jesus. <laughs> Amen? Amen? No. If it comes as a filter human being, it will be limited. Yeah. If we have to enter TTC. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen? If it's limited. The body, this body is a, limit, a limitation. The Bible calls it a vile body. It's limited. Limited. You can't move. You have to, uh, you see, There'll be uh, restrictions. So if he appears as a human being, I'm pretty sure it's this vicinity, not York, that will see him. <laughs> see him. Uh, just move to Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan won't be able to see him. Uh, if he goes too far, 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 let's say he goes too far, far, far. Uh, they'll say, ah, it's, it's small, the object is small. <laughs> he say, all eyes shall see him. Even those that pierce him. Not, not just talking about those that are living, even those that have passed away. Amen. Amen? Amen. So we know Christ no more after the flesh. So in his presence, this glorious presence, we are not going to expect, conjure in our mind that we are going to see Jesus Christ. He may come in a vision, come in a trance, but those are, that's, that's not talking about physical body. Oh, we're not talking about physical trumpets. So I know that. So, uh, uh, Revelation chapter 1. He lived, uh, chapter 1, verse 19, sorry. Mm-hmm. 
19. Go to 18. So Christ lived, Christ came and died, and now is alive forevermore. The life forevermore. So it cannot be subject to any form of death. Any form. He that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen? Amen. And have the keys of what? Hell and of death. So Christ cannot be subject to any death. This body of death. He said it was made a little lower than the angels. Uh -huh. So it cannot be subject to that environment any longer. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 First Peter chapter 3. Verse 18. First Peter chapter 3 verse 18. Let's read this together. For Christ, For Christ had also had once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, be put to death in the flesh, but quickened in the spirit. Amen. 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 So we see that the reason why Christ came as a human being is because he needed to what? Take away sin. To sentence sin. To bring sin to judgment. Amen? Amen. So there's no way you come physically as a human being. There's no, it's impossible. He came because of sin. Because it's uh, an eye for an eye, a two for a two. The person that sinned was a human being. And he had to come as a human being, as Adam. Amen? Amen. Bible says he's the second man, the last Adam. Uh, Philippians chapter 3. Let's start looking at the characteristics of a little bit of the parousia. Philippians chapter 3. I think it's the last verse. I think I have some last verses in this uh, admonition. Last verses. Philippians chapter 3, verse 21. So 21, you can relate it to the foolish and the wise virgin's experience. He said, what is it going to change? Well, let's start from 20. Remember, those people in 20 are the people that are watchers. Amen? Our conversation is in the heaven. So they are watchers. Remember, there are three classes in Revelation chapter 12. There's a class of the heaven. There's a class of the earth. There's a class of the sea. He said, woe, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of what? Yeah. The earth and of the sea, for the devil has come uh, to do to you. All right. So he said, our conversation is in the heaven. Uh, the word conversation say citizenship. Amen. Amen. So if you are in Canada now, the laws, the ordinances, everything in Canada now relate to you. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. So things in that country is binding upon those that are citizens of that country. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Do you know permanent residents cannot vote? Yeah. Green card holders cannot vote in the U.S. Uh -huh. But citizens can vote. Yes. Amen? Yeah. You see, the rights are different. Although everybody said they are all the same, they are the same. But when it comes to some uh, laws and ordinances, they can exercise authority in that town. Amen? Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. So if you are, if somebody had a, baby, a Canadian baby, uh, the, the baby, one, one parent want to force, force to take the child out from the airport without the consent of the other parent, it won't be possible now. Impossible. Abide by the laws of that country. He said our citizenship is what? Amen. The heavens. Amen. It is in that environment where we call them watchers yes. that what? They look. They look for the savior. Uh, they look for the Savior. So this, we can put it in, based on what we are learning, that this is the environment of the watchers and the, the wise virgins. They are looking. They are yearning. They are hunger. Say, God, he said, our Savior. Because they needed to be saved. Uh -huh. They are not perfect yet. They need to be saved. But look for our Savior. 
the Lord Jesus Christ. They're looking. So what will happen in verse 21? He said, it shall change our vile body. Glory be to God. It shall change our vile body. That it may be fashioned. A process of time. The last bit is instantaneous. Fashion like unto his glorious body. So when he's coming in the parousia, he's coming what? As a glorious body. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm. Not human. Not human. You said Jesus can come as a human. No, 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 no. Ah. He comes in his glorious body. So, as I said, with what form will he come? He will come as a glorious body. Yes. Amen? Amen? He shall change our vibe body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. According to the walking whereby is able. Able means dunamis. Yes. Check the original. Dunamis, power from God. It will subdue all things. So we see in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 25 that there's a massive work he's doing. Glory he starts it in uh, the Barossia, but he wants to bring us to what a time we can appear face to face to us. Yes. But to those that are looking, uh, bro, is it with, with physical eyes? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So it's not going to be with physical eyes. Uh, it can't be visible. So uh, we behold him. We are changed. There's a transformation. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. According to the working, we are able to subdue all things. So there is a transformation to, from a vile body to glorious body. So God is, there's a transition from, God is moving you from where? The vile body yeah. into a glorious body like his. Yes. Amen? Amen. And there will be a lot of energy from the Lord. Amen. According to the working of Jesus. The energy, the power from God to subdue all things. Ah, is it diabetes? Subdue it. Is it uh, a lack of ah, glasses, glasses? Subdue it. Amen. Every sickness, every malady, Amen. every failure, everything in us that leads to bring to death, death, death. death. I was checking some genealogy. This guy lived and lived and lived and lived and lived and lived and lived. 969 years. Just believe him. After that, they were all getting married at 30, 30, 30 and dying quickly. Yeah. That power that Adam saw in the, in, in the garden, that power was seen. He said, in, 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 dying, in, in the day, I was telling him, in the day that thou eateth of you, in dying thou shalt die. They had to live for a day, a th- almost a thousand years. Nobody lived up to a thousand years. Just living, living, living. I mean, God. So there's a power from a God, it will subdue all things. Our failures, our weakness, our limitation, it will swallow it up. Not by my strength, not by your strength, by the strength of the Lord. According to the working, whereby he is able, he will subdue all things. He will subdue all things. So he comes as a glorious body. Glorious body. You can compare this with uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15. So the body, the body defied from another. It but it comes as a glorious body. First uh, John chapter three, verse two. First John chapter three, verse two. We'll start from verse 1. Behold. Let's read together. Behold. 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 What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we may be called the sons of God. Therefore, the Lord knoweth us not because he knew him not. Beloved, now that we are the sons of God, it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Not as he was. How does he look now? He is a glorious body. But there is an appearing. The appearing they talk about uh, epiphany. Or they move the epi. It's fenero. Appear. So there is an appearing of the Lord. But before the appearing of the law, you are a son of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. God told us in verse 1 that we are sons of God. 
They say, now that we are in verse 2, now we are sons of God, there's something that will happen. It does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know by revelation when he shall appear. So there's a time when he appeared. When he appeared, what we'll do? We'll be like him. Because it's a marriage. The man and a woman getting married. He yes. said, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to what? And they shall become? One. That's that one. So the Bible tells us, say, he that is joined to the Lord is what? One, one spirit with him. So that's the union here. He said, we shall be like him. Hallelujah. For we shall see him as he is. So the body that you are going to see in the uh, 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 parousia, Towards the, going towards the epiphany. It's not the, the guy that was uh, walking, the, the man they called Jesus. Uh -huh. The man uh, the, of that. No, no, no. In his glorious body. Not Jesus of Nazareth. In his glorious body. In his full authority. See, all power has been given to me in the heavens and the earth. Uh, that's that, that's the, what we shall see. And what we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is, not as he was. Then the street now tells us that every man that had this hope, if you know this is going to happen, what do you do? Purify. You purify yourself. You wash your garments. Yes. You purify yourself. Even as what he is pure. Amen? Amen? Even as he is pure. Everyone that has this hope, purify himself. Even as he is pure. So we see that the, the Christ we are looking out to see is not, don't, don't just mere, mere man, no, 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 no. It's, it's glorious. It's coming, it's glorious. Going in his splendor. Amen? Amen. So, but it, it as appears in the scene, he keep on unfolding himself, unfolding himself, changing you, transforming Lord, you, Lord. imparting life, imparting character unto you until you stand in that state of life where you can see him and he unveiled himself to you, you become like him. Amen? Amen. 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 When he shall appear, we shall be like him. Thank for we shall see him as he is. Not as he was, as he is. The right now, he is sitting in the right hand of God, full of glory, full of power, full of authority. And it is that extent of life that we are talking about. And uh, uh, our, our brother says, uh, a, a crown of righteousness is reserved for me, not only unto me, but all that Lord love is appearing. All that love is appearing. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, I don't know whether we have questions or, but let, let me just try and bring some things in, in a bit. So when somebody talks about the Matthew chapter 25 and 24, 24 is it, 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 simple, just simple. As in the days of Noah, as in the days of Lot. You get those, those characteristics. One of the major characteristics of this time is that there's a massive gathering. He said the harvest is at the end of the age. So there's a pulling out. Pulling out. Many people are dissatisfied with what they see. But they don't know where to go. Amen? Amen? But as God starts apprehending them, he said, he will gather his people unto him, those that have made covenant with me by sacrifice. Say, oh, I will go all out with God. I will take my vows. I will not live with this wickedness. So as they are being, 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 being gathered together, harvested, he said the angel will send the angels and, to work, and there will be a massive gathering. So there's a gathering. 
So don't be afraid. Don't keep on speaking. Yes, last week, somebody called a, a, an evangelica. I think the guy is Lutheran. So they called him. Uh, he had a, a radio program. They asked about uh, rapture. They laughed over it. said, there's no rapture. This is evangelica. <laughs> said, there's no rapture. Rapture is not, it's not there. It's not in the scripture. But he said, when you are flying off, take me along. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that's an evangelica. Ah, so don't be bold. The things that you know, say it. You are bringing people will come out. There will be a massive harvest. People will be drawn. And when they are brought in, the Bible says he will sit as a refiner's fire. He will sit as a fuller soul. Because what? He, he must bring them to an estate where they understand. He said he will make them charge over all his goods. So the ark is being built. God is bringing people to maturity. Maturity. 30. 300 by 50 by 30. He's bringing them in. Bringing them in. Bringing them in. Then when it, it, it is time, then the epiphanic appears. He shows himself face to face. And when he shows himself face to face, they break forth. The man child broke forth from the woman. They enter into their own. They enter into their own. A crown is given unto them. Amen? Amen? Amen. Then there can be the judgment of the world. He said, the, the Lord will destroy the man of sin. With the what? The spirit of his mouth. And by what? The, the brightness of his parousia. The epiphany of his presence. It will destroy the enemy. So epiphany, when epiphany is taking place, God is executing judgment upon the earth. Uh, that will not start until God people enter their own. Until Noah enter the ark. Until the Lord class is pulled out of Sodom. Amen? Amen. 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 So there are characteristics we can look at. So, but it comes as a secret in the night. Uh -huh. It comes as a secret in the night. Not everybody will see him. Let me end with this Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3. It comes as a secret in the night. By the time we come when all eyes shall see him, they shall see him in trouble. Uh -huh. When there's the, the, the nations are fighting themselves and, and creating chaos upon the earth, uh -huh. they shall see him then. But now they are not seeing him. But the church is seeing him. Behold, the day cometh, and it shall burn as an oven. <laughs> and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, we can gather them in two, in two forms. The beast out of the earth and the beast out of the sea. All the proud, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Remember? Remember the harvest? He said, gather the wheat into my banner. He said, the harvest is at the time of the end. He said, what do you do with the stubble? You gather them too. Uh -huh. All the stubble. You gather them. And that day they are coming and shall burn them up. Said the Lord of hosts. Remember First Peter? It said the other one was, was by water. But in this land, it shall be what? By fire. Shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts. The Lord of the armies. So it so gives you the characteristics of verse 4. It is during, during warfare. Said the Lord of hosts. That shall leave them neither root or branch. Amen. Wickedness must be consumed. Amen. But unto you, mm. unto the church, yeah. verse 2, yeah. unto you that fear my name, son. son of righteousness, arise with healing in his wings. He shall go forth, and you shall go forth and go up as calf of the storm. So when there's, God is as a judgment upon this system, he's empowering his, his children. He's taking away sicknesses, taking away maladies, taking away conditions of death and dying. The son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Hey, brethren, did the son of righteousness just appeared? What appears first? The morning star. Morning star, the day star. You can, but in the morning, the sun of righteousness is around midday. Uh, Tense sunshine. Sun of righteousness. But first, the morning star. Morning just breaking, the star is just coming. First, the morning star. So, at this, in verse 2, they will already experience the goodness of God. 
and it's increasing, increasing until you now say it, righteousness it shall arise with healing. There will be massive healing in the church. Glory be to God. Not all this, uh, uh, which is good. That's why I, I just break my statement. Okay, not all this. Uh, you are healed. You are healed. Lay hands. No, 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 no. Somebody is preaching and there's power flowing. Yes. Condition broken. Amen. Somebody come with a big tumor. It's, it's cut off. Hallelujah. And massive healing. This dissolved. This he said there will be healing in his what? Wings. In his ministry. Wings. As people teach and preach, as people worship, there will be yes. mighty power yes. manifest in his church yes. with yes. healing in his wings. He makes the clouds his child. Mm -hmm. He rises upon the wings of the wind. They are in his ministry. He shall go for, they shall they be massive breaking forth into fruitfulness in all levels. Um, every level, fruitfulness. That's go up as calf of the stone. He's talking about animals there. In the old economy, all they know is uh, cattle, cattle, cattle. So he used illustration of cattle in, in that time. But now, you grow forth in all manner of fruitfulness, breakthrough. And then, and what? What did he say? Mm. Verse 3. And ye, mm. <laughs> and ye shall, shall tread down, down the wicked, wicked. for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I do this, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless us. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord help us. Hallelujah. The heavens shall unveil himself unto us. Yeah. Christ that has come shall reveal himself yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He has not left us comfortless. He will come in his person yeah. and deal with conditions yeah. in our life, in our hearts, in our minds, in our bodies. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, make us watch us. Yeah. Make us watch us. Open our eyes to see. Open our eyes. Better be the checking of our eyes. Let us behold you in this time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let indeed our citizenship be in the heavens. Amen. Let our conversation be in the heavens. Amen. Let all matters be considered under the divine light. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship you, Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah.